introduce you to two people who have made some incredible, even chilling predictions about the future, including some that you will not believe. Check them out. Celebrity news, natural disasters, financial crisis, and terrorist attacks. Linda and Terry Jameson predicted it all. The twins knew from an early age that they were different, reading each other's thoughts. We feel like we're one soul with two bodies. So as one soul, we communicate telepathically. And making startlingly accurate predictions. Right after Lady Di was killed, the next one is going to be JFK Jr. Now, I have to admit, I'm usually a big skeptic. But faced with the twins' track record, I'm also intrigued. What does the future hold? Let's find out. Freaky, I'm seeing two of you. I didn't expect you guys to be like this identical. Really? Really, really, really in unison, in stereo. Look at them, you guys. Is that not creepy? And they're psychics, too, so like they can see like everything double. Everything. Okay, so you guys have been psychic, felt psychic, psychic ability since you were kids? All yes. our lives, Tyra, all our lives. All your lives? Yes, even as children. And tell me what you, you mean when you say that it's painful to be a psychic. What does that mean, it's painful? Well, you take on everybody's stuff. You know, you feel everybody's pain. It's really hard. Yeah. And if somebody's emotional, you cry too. You're an empath, yeah. so you probably can relate to this. You have a heightened empathy. You oh, really take it. on the suffering of other people. Yeah, almost I to do neutralize. empathize, and I'll cry on my couch or with my friends. I'll cry with them, but I can't go... Ooh, and next what's going to happen is you it's going to magically appear You could the door. probably. I bet you could. Really? You could well, learn how to do it. You know what's funny is you had a past life in Egypt as a high priestess in 7th century. <laughs> really? And you were very intuitive. <laughs> yes, you were, Tyra. Are you serious? Uh, no, it's true. Joking. We both Egypt got that. Egypt past lives. Wow. Yeah. Did I have a lot of gold and stuff? Yes. Yeah. All really? that stuff. You did. Yes, yeah, true. Did, did I have a fine man? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, but on the serious note, you guys have helped solve murder cases? Like yes, we murder have. High-profile murders. In fact, uh, the San Luis Obispo Cohen murders, uh, we've solved uh, the Krebs murder. Uh, yeah. he, he's in jail for life now, and yeah. they found the body. It was where in California stayed. about 10 years ago. And we also actually recently... Well, about three years ago, we said where Olivia Newton-John's boyfriend, Patrick McDermott, was, and he had literally faked his death, and now a lot of people uh, are seeing him in Mexico, which is where we said on TV that he would be found. Oh, my gosh. So, okay, you guys are twins. Are you single? Married? We're, We're single. single ladies. You're single ladies. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, how do you date? How does that work? We don't. We don't anymore. We really date. <laughs> you don't guys date? Guys are afraid of us. Scared Tyra. to death. They're scared. Yeah. They well, think... we can x-ray their underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. So, so you don't date at all? A little bit. A yes, little we bit. do. Oh, but it's L.A. They're all, guys are all dating each so other in UK, L.A. We're in New York, but you guys live in L.A. <laughs> So when you go on a date and you do meet a guy, do you kind of know how it's going to end? Kind of. I yeah. can always predict for her to the nanosecond how long she'll date a guy. It's very yeah. annoying. And she hates it when I do you that. I just want to have dinner, and she's like, it'll last three days, two hours, and four minutes. Really annoying. Really annoying. Yeah. Okay, what about, like, gambling? Do you guys go to Vegas and, like... Well, we perform gamble. in Vegas, but we don't gamble no, in Vegas. We don't no. gamble. It's funny. The gift is really to help other people. Yeah. It, you know, we would be wealthy if that were the reason for our gift, but we really are here to be of service to others yeah. and help them with their future, their career, their their uh, health, their money, their situation. money situation. Do you guys know what you're going to look like when you're elderly? Do you have it pictured in your face yes. already because you can see your own We pictures? are elderly now. <laughs> no, you're not. You guys are young and We're going to be hot old ladies, Tara. <laughs> So yeah. you know how you're gonna look. Yes. How the hell am I gonna look at 65? Oh, you're, oh, you're gonna look good. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna look beautiful. All right. Yeah. Is it because I'm black? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you all age good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, our first reading is um, for Michelle and Leah. Where's Michelle and Leah? We're gonna have some audience personal questions. 
And uh, you can get the, the, the down low with Linda and Terry here. What's your first question you guys have? Hi, well, it's our first year of college, and everybody's talking about having sex, and we're both virgins. Oh, <laughs> I, I love that, that you guys are happen. virgins. How old are you? 19. 19. I love that. <laughs> so much. 19. And so yeah. what's the question? Is when is it going to happen? If it's going to happen? <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you know, this is so serious, ladies. Do not rush this. It's very important that you're in a solid relationship with a man who respects you and treats you with kindness to make that step. So when is it going to happen? I'm then? feeling, <laughs> is, it, is it Michelle on the left? I'm, yeah. Okay, Michelle, I feel like it could be about a year for you, about within a year. year. Okay. So you don't have to wait that long. And like two years for you, Leah. Yeah. <laughs> and here's my psycho, psychic advice. It ain't going to feel good the first time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sandra. Where's Sandra in the audience? What's your question, Sandra? I've been with my boyfriend on and off four years. We have a child together. He's nine months old. And he tells me that he loves me all the time, but I have a feeling that he's cheating on me. He's cheating, I'm sorry to say. And, and you need to be very, very clear about what you want going forward. Sandra, is it? I really, really want you to get counseling with him if he will agree to it. Something tells me he won't. I don't know why, but he won't. But also, if you're, like, super suspicious, you could drive him away. Hopefully, you'll be able to work this out, sweetheart. And if he isn't the long-term one, so be it. It's okay. You learned lessons, and there's somebody better com coming for you. That's true. Even though you have a child, don't yes. make, don't, don't feel that that's the end-all, be-all. And because you have the child with this man, yeah. you have to stay with him if you're not happy. So true. Happiness first, because if mommy's happy, then child is happy. Right. That's okay? right. That's right, Tyra. Right. Well All right. Up next okay. is uh, Gail and Chris. Where are you guys? Hi. Hi. Like many other people, my husband and I have been hit hard by the economy. Mm -hmm. He had back surgery, has been out of work for two years, Aww, okay. and I just lost my job this summer. That's okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead and cry. Do you see better things coming for us in the future? Absolutely. I'm sorry. You know, we went through all that ourselves. Ugh. You're going to change it. You're going to come out of it, and you'll yeah. be stronger. Yeah, 2010, paying off credit card debts. I see. Get a good financial plan, you guys, because one of you is overspending for the amount that's coming in. Is that, uh -oh, is is that, that the you? Husband? Yeah, that's amazing. Okay. <laughs> and, yeah, see, they're never wrong. They don't lie to us. Uh, I really feel you need to get a clear plan and really reassess your spending habits and where you, you could cut back. You guys are going to be fine next year, the following year, but yeah. really, really get a good plan together. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you very much. Well, I love the fact that you could hope. feel that one of them was overspending. Oh, it's always wow. very clear. Usually it's the woman that overspends, but in this case it was him. It's the man. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back with more questions from our audience and more of my psychic powers. <laughs>